Welcome to Electron Online. In our next example here, we're going to deal with six Republicans and six Democrats. We have a total of 12 people, six are Republicans, six are Democrats. And you want to form a committee of which three will be Republicans and two will be Democrats, so a committee of five people. And so if there are no restrictions, what are the number of combinations? Again, the order doesn't matter, so we are looking for number of combinations. B, if there's one specific Democrat that must be on the committee, and C, there are two particular Republicans that cannot be on the committee. What will be the number of combinations in each case? So for the first case, for part A, the total number of combinations is equal to the combinations you can have with the number of Republicans that you have. And so you have six Republicans, and you want three on the committee, so that would be six, the number of combinations of six and three. And you have to multiply that times because for each combination of Republicans, you can have a certain number of combinations of Democrats. The six Democrats and two will be chosen. So times six and two like that. So this becomes six factorial divided by six minus three factorial times three factorial multiplied times six factorial divided by six minus two factorial times two factorial. So that will be the number of combinations in which you can form a committee of five people under those conditions. Well, let's work that out and see what we get. So first of all, six factorial divided by three factorial will be equal to six times five times four, and that leaves us with three factorial in the denominator times. Here we have six minus two, which is four factorial, divided into six factorial gives us six times five and divided by the remainder of two factorial. So you can see that three factorial is equal to six, so this cancels out with this, and we're left with 20 times, and here two factorial can divide into six, that becomes three, that's so be three times five or 15, so a total of 300 different combinations in which you can form a committee of five people where three are Republicans and two are Democrats. Now, what if we have the restriction that we have to have one specific Democrat that must be on that committee? Okay, then we get, for part B, the number of combinations is, for the Republicans, nothing has changed. You still want three Republicans out of six uh, possible candidates, so we have C, six, and three times. But now for the number of combinations for Democrats, notice that one is already chosen. So one is on the committees. There's only a spot for one more Democrat to be chosen out of five possibilities. So this would be five and one, because you can only pick one more, and there's, only, and there's five candidates available. So this gives us a different number of combinations. Here we still have six factorial divided by six minus three factorial times three factorial times five factorial divided by five minus one factorial times one factorial. So this becomes, here we still get six factorial divided by three factorial is six times five times four divided by three factorial times five factorial divided by four factorial, that would be five over one. So this becomes, again, this cancels out, and that becomes 20 times five instead of 20 times 15. So this is 100 different combinations for part B. For part C, two particular Republicans cannot be chosen to be on the committee. How does that change the number of combinations? Well, the number of combinations is for the Republicans, you now only have four possible Republicans you could choose from, and since two cannot be on the committee, and you want to pick three, it'll become the number of combinations of four and three. Four possible candidates you can choose from, you're still trying to pick three Republicans. You multiply the times, the number of uh, Democrats that must be chosen out of six, there's no restrictions for Democrats. You want to pick two candidates of six, uh, but, uh, two of six possible candidates. So that's six and two right here. So this becomes four factorial divided by four minus three factorial times three factorial times six factorial divided by six minus two factorial times two factorial. All right, now we simplify that. For the first one, we have four factorial divided by three factorial. That gives us simply four divided by four minus three factorial, which is one factorial, is simply four divided by one. And for the one on the right here, we have six factorial divided by four factorial. So this is six times five divided by two factorial. And of course, two factorial is simply two divided into six. That becomes three and one. So this becomes, uh, let's see here, 4 times 15, or 60, 
different combinations under dose restrictions. So this is kind of a, a nice example where you can again see we're looking for the number of combinations with various restrictions. First, no restrictions and then various restrictions. Notice that you want to multiply the number of combinations of each type together to form the total number of combinations that you can form. Because typically for every one of the combinations here, you can have this entire set of combinations over there. You change it here again, you go through the whole set of combinations there and so forth, and that's why the two are multiplied together. And that's how we do that.